fourth section under create new event, we have ticket pricing and options. There's two events you could choose from. There's paid event and free event. Under free event, it's pretty straightforward. Just select the ticket sales start and end time. Enter the quantity of tickets you have available and enter the limit that one person can get. Under paid event, you select the ticket start time, ticket stop time, and you could also select different ticket types. There's two preset ones in here, general mission and VIP. There's also user defined. Under user defined, you can create different ticket types besides the preset ones. For example, if you have lawn seats or if you have a special VIP that includes food or drink, you could create one here and add a description. Right here, for each ticket type, you can include the price, quantity, and limit. You can also add a pricing rule by clicking here. Pricing rules allow you to have early pre-sale ticket prices. For example, here I have the information filled out. As we see here, tickets will start selling at $10 until 500 have been sold or until this date. Then, after one of these have been achieved, they will start selling at $20 until 500 more have been sold or until this date. And the more pricing levels you have, it will continue the same way. So after these have been achieved, the final price will be $30 until all the remaining tickets have been sold. And you can do this for each and individual ticket type. All you got to do is add ticket type and add pricing rule. Next we have ticket delivery options. We have print at home, will call, we have standard shipping and express shipping. After that we have an add a facility fee. This is completely optional, but if you'd like to use it, you can add a facility fee by the dollar amount per ticket or you can add a percentage that will apply to each ticket price. And lastly on this section we have add a coupon. To add a coupon you just click right here. Here we can add the coupon code. You can add what ticket type it's valid with. And you have the options to make it a flat rate coupon, a percentage coupon, or you can have them require a minimum or maximum amount of tickets. And these are pretty straightforward. To do a flat rate coupon, just put the number you want to deduct from each ticket or each entire order. For percentage coupon, just type in the percentage you'd like to deduct for the entire order. And right here, just add the minimum or maximum and the number of tickets. Okay, I fill out some information here and we're going to add a coupon. Okay, my coupon's ready to be used. And also you can edit or delete the coupon right here. To add another one, just click right there again.